It's four o'clock in the morning, and the sky is pitch black. Far on the horizon, Taiwan's military is conducting exercises with air, ground, and sea assets to fend off a possible Chinese attack. Suddenly, the stillness of Pingtung Zhuopeng military base is broken by the roaring sound of a missile. The two-stage ignition process quickly illuminates the darkness before the missile swiftly disappears. Nevertheless, unknown to the military, a camera hidden below captures the moment, bringing down almost a decade of secrecy surrounding Taiwan's most powerful missile, Swing Feng 2E, the confirmation of a shift in strategy for the island in the face of a threat of Chinese invasion. Taiwanese Arsenal. The key to Taiwan's deterrent strategy against China resides in its missile program. During the last few years, the Taiwanese military has allocated more resources to this program to prove to China there will be violent retaliatory strikes if the independent island is ever attacked by its vast and powerful neighbor. Nevertheless, Taiwan has always oriented its missile program towards a defensive strategy to keep tensions with China as low as possible. This explains why many of its assets are anti-ship cruise missiles and short-range ballistic missiles. However, the past few years' uneasy political relations between Taiwan and the People's Republic of China have shifted Taiwan's posture. The country has adopted and developed missile systems better suited for strike missions and long-range operations. Some of the latest missiles employed by the Taiwanese military have led China to shift its strategies toward its neighbor, forcing Chinese generals to think about a possible retaliatory strike. For example, the Swing Feng 3, the latest of the Swing Feng missile family, was developed in the late 1990s to counter Chinese naval incursions in its territorial waters. It has a limited range of over 75 to 90 miles, but carries a high explosive or armor-piercing warhead to eliminate any Chinese warship that ventures into its waters. The missile also features a smart fuse that directs most of the explosive energy downward to maximize hull damage. The Yunfeng missile is also developed exclusively to strike land-based targets inside mainland China. Although little information is known about the missile, the Yunfeng can probably carry a fragmentation or semi-armor high explosive warhead to a range of around 745 to 1200 miles. Secret Missile Although experts worldwide believe a major conflict with China seems unlikely, Taiwan has set out to reinforce its army and bolster its missile program to continue enforcing its deterrence policy. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine in Eastern Europe has only reinforced Taiwan's deterrence policy, but the country has struggled to increase its arsenal due to the limited number of nations that formally recognize it to avoid political problems with China. Consequently, Taiwan has turned to its missile industry to avoid delivery and production problems. In 2001, the country began developing its most powerful missile yet, the Songfeng 2E. From the start, the main objective was to develop a missile capable of striking the heart of China with lethal accuracy and firepower. The missile required an extended range to properly attack Chinese surveillance, radar, missile, and airfield sites to accomplish this. Taiwanese military personnel envisioned a missile to strike targets scattered around cities such as Shanghai, Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and even the Three Gorges Dam. Although the missile is identified as part of the Songfeng, or Brave Wind, missile family, it bears more similarities to the American Tomahawk than any other Taiwanese missile. Many believe the missile's name has to do with its classified nature to avoid leaks and keep it under the radar for Chinese intelligence. Possible Variants According to the limited information available to Taiwanese and foreign military analysts, there are two variants of the HF-2E cruise missile. These are the baseline version and the extended range model, also known as the Shrung Sheng. Sources contradict each other regarding the specifications and range of both missile variants. Still, it is estimated that the baseline model of the HF-2E has a range between 186 to 372 miles, while the Shrung Sheng can strike targets at distances of 620 to 934 miles. Experts have also noted the discrepancy between the ranges may be related to the different warhead options for the HF-2E. From 1,000 and 440-pound class unitary high-explosive types to bunker-buster and cluster-munition penetration types, 
The missile and its warhead variations are tailored to strike different Chinese fortifications to maximize damage during a retaliatory attack. Additionally, both variants reportedly employ GPS-assisted initial navigation system guidance and TURCOM, or terrain contour matching capability, also used by the powerful American Tomahawk missile. TURCOM allows missiles to fly at lower altitudes to avoid hostile ground-to-air defenses and accurately strike targets thanks to the improved navigation features. Rising Tensions It is rumored that both variants of the Taiwanese HF-2E also employ an infrared seeker to make them even more accurate when striking targets. Besides the Tomahawk, the American Storm Shadow and AGM-158 joint air-to-surface standoff missiles also use infrared seekers during operations. Although Washington has urged Taipei to be cautious of employing the HF-2E to avoid more tensions with China, the Taiwanese military has been secretly testing the weapon to prove its effectiveness when the time comes. Although the missile has been tested since 2005, the National Shengshan Institute of Science and Technology, or NCSIST, was still coming up with the final design before mass production began in 2009. Taiwan recently conducted another secret test, perhaps to analyze a new missile component. On August 16, 2023, the United Daily News, or UDN, published some pictures and videos of the Shengfeng 2E land attack cruise missile, marking the first time the missile was seen by the Taiwanese public and the rest of the world. UDN reported that the footage was taken during a nighttime launch test from the Xiaopeng military base in Pingtung County, located in the island's southern portion. Spotted. The footage and pictures show a missile in the pitch black darkness. Although not captured by the camera, witnesses report watching the booster rocket used to launch the HF-2E falling. Despite not fully acknowledging if it was truly an HF-2E, the pictures show an unidentified missile of a long cylindrical shape, blunt nose, and pop-out wings at the rear, resembling the Tomahawk missile. One day later, it was reported that the missile flew for over an hour and was launched as part of a three-day live-fire exercise that included Taiwanese fighter aircraft fighting air-to-air -air missiles and Navy and Coast Guard vessels providing support. The Taiwanese Air Force later confirmed it had fired a missile as part of the drills, but did not comment if it was an HF-2E. Furthermore, Su Tsuyun, a scholar from the Institute for National Defense and Security Research, stated that the missile fired was indeed an HF-2E. He based his opinion on the footage published, noting that the two-stage ignition process, the one-hour-long flight, and the physical details prove it's a new long-range missile. The Ministry of National Defense has acknowledged the existence of the mythical missile since 2022, but has yet to disclose how many of them have been produced. For now, Taiwan will continue secretly developing the missile and preparing its ground, sea, and air forces for a possible conflict with China. The U.S. military believes China will be ready to launch a full-scale cross-strait intervention by 2027. And when the time comes, Taiwan and the Shengfeng 2E will be ready to answer the call to defend the country at any cost. <laughs>